Shalom, everybody. This is Bakayar Amana. Um, I was um, on the internet. Uh, oh, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone, and other righteous men that preach the 100% truth who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that have been scattered all over the planet. Shalom. Um, I was watching this video and it has some very interesting information. Um, for scoffers such as uh, and apologists, biblical apologists uh, such as uh, Vocabularius Baloney, since he's full of shit, and uh, um, Dr. whatever his name was, you know, I just wanted to let you know that you're, you, you wanted proof that Negroes are the Israelites of the Holy Bible from the tribe of Judah, right? Okay, watch this. This doesn't have anything to do with the Southern Poverty Line and Law Center. Doesn't have anything to do with the um, the Anti Defamation League. Doesn't have anything to do with uh, the so called Black Hebrew Israelites. Okay, doesn't have anything to do with it, right? Pay attention. So now, no matter what they say, the 400 years is etched in stone. It's marked in history. It was done to a people claiming to be Israel who were taken to a land that is not theirs and enslaved and oppressed. And like I said, men lie, women lie, the numbers don't. Do we believe our Bible or do we believe our doctrine? So we've looked at number one on the chart now we're gonna we'll look at 15 of these i'm not gonna go that deep into all of them but there was a reason i had to lay that foundation number two on the chart israel scattered and punished because of disobedience and idolatry so throughout the course of the bible god tells israel hey if you disobey i'm going to put you into slavery if you disobey, I'm going to put you into slavery. And you will hear those who don't believe anything that Israelites have to say. They will point out that people in West Africa were practicing idolatry. Well, they were practicing it in the land of Judah. We've seen this. So because they were practicing idolatry in the kingdom of Judah, some ships came and got them and took them into slavery, just like the Most High said, he would do and, and we see this again we know this is true because the library of congress has the map this is not a israelite site a hebrew israelite site a black hebrew israelite site this is the library of congress a new and accurate map of negro land and if we come over here to negro land the kingdom of judah or Wida is marked as the slave coast now you could tell yourself whatever you want to We've gone over the evidence that it was called Judah because the people believed that the tribes of Israel were there. You guys can go back through my videos if you have not seen that. Um, go through my Beyond Deuteronomy 28 series. You can go through any of my other historical series. I mentioned this a lot. People can say what the word what the word widow means. Cool, it means bird. Cool, whatever doesn't change anything the historical records said they called it judah because they believed that the tribes of israel were there and then we have cambridge who says that the israelites the black jews that were there were being targeted and rounded up for slavery now you can tell yourself whatever you want to tell yourself but the map isn't going to change so people who lived here were taken into slavery and after they were taken into slavery, they were scattered all over the world into Asia, into various parts of Africa, into Saudi Arabia, into North America, into Europe, into South America. They are moved all over Africa. You guys can see these maps here. So, again, what does Genesis 15 um, have to say about this? Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. So, Israelites were moved to land that is not theirs, and we find again the four hundred years. But if we read down here into Deuteronomy, 
chapter 4 verse 27 it says and the lord shall scatter you among the nations and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen whither the lord shall lead you so they're going to be a minority that's what few in number means you're going to be minorities and are black people known as minorities? Yes or no? And I know you can say that, well, that didn't mean that back then. That word minority didn't mean the same thing as it did now. Well, when it comes to numbers, it meant the same thing. Number-wise, we are a minority. I'm not talking about the, the racist context it has in our time. I'm talking specifically in reference to the black population among all the other people all around the world. Our people were thinned out and scattered so that we had small numbers in various places all around the world. No matter how you want to look at history, that's what happened. You will be minorities among the heathen. It says what it says. If we go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 64, they'll say this isn't prophecy. Deuteronomy 28 isn't prophecy. And yet Deuteronomy 30 says it is prophecy. In Deuteronomy 31, Moses says it's going to occur in the latter days when they will break this covenant. It says, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. So if you want to serve these gods in my land, I'm going to scatter you all over the world and let you serve gods in other people's land. A land that is not yours. But the problem here is, this occurs after Egypt, so you can't apply this to Egypt. And also, even if you tried... That wouldn't account for being scattered among all people. But you know it does account for being scattered among all people. The transatlantic slave trade, the same transatlantic slave trade that they tell us we can't apply Bible prophecy to. But let's keep looking. Ezekiel 12, and they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall scatter them among the nations and disperse them in the countries. One more time. Let's look at this transatlantic slave trade map. He's going to do what? He's going to disperse them among the countries and scatter, or scatter them among the nations and disperse them among the countries. All right. Let's let's look at Ezekiel um, 22. And I will scatter thee among the heathen and disperse thee in the countries and will consume thy filthiness out of thee. So again, over and over again, God says he's going to scatter Israel among the countries. We see a verse that says 400 years as slaves in a nation that is not theirs. Is it a coincidence that all of this has happened to the same people during the transatlantic slave trade? The question is, do we believe our Bible or do we believe doctrine?